Assalamu alaikum welcome to my channel educational and technical world kindly subscribe and share my channel today we discuss volumetric calculations and some techniques let's start our today's lecture firstly we discuss procedure of volumetric calculations then we have different formulas by which we can find volumes or molarity or masses of the substances Main apparatus for this reaction is burette, conical flask, pipettes and iron stain. While chemicals used here are acid, bases and indicators. Now volumetric procedure involves the careful measurement of the volumes of solution. First of all dissolve materials in the water and run reaction in the solution. Titration in Elermeyer flask is done, which designed for mixing the reactants. Burette is a measuring device which can read volumes up to 0.0 ml. It may contain acid or base. Pipette may be used specially to transfer solutions up to 0.01 ml. Now we have some basic terminology. First of all, we have analyte. Analyte is a substance that is being analyzed, which can be taken in conical flask or Elermeyer flask. Secondly, we have titrant. Titrant is a solution which is taken in the burette. Next term is standard solution. Standard solution is a solution of noun strength. Sometimes we confuse with standardized solution and standard solution. Standardized solution means it we have to find its strength by titrating it against some standard solution. Next point is equivalence point. Equivalence point is a stoichiometric point. Then we have end point. We will discuss it later. Now what is equivalence point? At equivalence point, moles of acid are equal to the moles of bases. For, for a one-to-one -one reaction such as between hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide, the number of moles of acids are equal to number of moles of bases. The reaction between HCl and NaOH gives us salt and water. Now what is the formula of moles? Moles is equal to molarity multiplied by volume. Now what is the end point? End point is the exact point of completion of reaction in volumetric analysis. Or end point is the point where an indicator changes color. This is the visual sign to stop or end the titration. If the indicator is selected correctly, the changes at are very near to the equivalence point. Example is phenolphthalein. Phenolphthalein is colorless in acid while it is pink in bases. Here we can see an example where 25.07 ml sample of vinegar is titrated with 37.31 ml of 0.5119 NaOH. So we have to find the molarity of acetic acid. First of all, we can find moles of NaOH by multiplying molarity and volume. Then we find the moles of acetic acid which are equals to the mole of NaOH. Then we find the molarity as the formula molarity is equals to moles by volume. In this way, we can find the molarity of acetic acid. Look at the other example where we have to find the percentage of acetic acid. Here first we find mass of acetic acid. Then percent can be found by multiplying mass of acetic acid divided by total multiplied by 100. Then we get percent of acetic acid. Now what is back titration? Back titration is used for antacids. An indirect analysis for antacids since they are insoluble. What are antacids? Antacid preventing or correcting acidity. Antacids which are, which are bases are reacted with excess acid and this excess acid is back titrated with standard base. 
you can see the example given here back titration calculations are done by calculating moles of hcl initially then moles of hcl left over then moles of hcl reacted and then moles and acid subtract depends on reaction stoichiometry such as calcium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid which gives calcium chloride water and carbon dioxide now what is dilution it is a process of adding solvent mostly universal solvent water to lower the concentration of a solution here solute is constant and solvent is being added and added it is used to make working standard for spectrometry and used to bring a sample into range for analysis typically done by using pipette or volumetric flask now how to calculate dilution since solute is constant moles initial are equal to the moles final then dilution formula is our dilution equation is given by concentration multiplied by volume now we take an example for dilution calculation where we have to find the initial volume it can be done by um, using a formula v initial is equal to v v final c final by c initial this is all about our today's video thanks for watching see you in the next video allah hafiz